I do not recommend staying here if you're coming to Denver. My hotel room smelled like cigarettes, and when I first checked in, I went into four different rooms, and they all smelled like cigarettes. So, just a little piece of travel advice for you guys. You know what else sucks? My non-stop flight today from Denver to New York City, going home, is canceled. So, I'm still heading to the airport now, but I'm not flying out till 5 a.m. tomorrow, and now I have a layover in Nashville. Life on the road, man. Wow, great. Good thing I'm here at the airport 15 hours early. Thanks a lot, Southwest. Thanks a lot. Well, I well, I guess I'll spend the next 15 hours eating anything and everything that I could possibly want and starting to edit my Home Run Derby video. Make use of the time, right? So I was about to get some pizza or something, but look at this. There are no lights on here. The power just went out at the airport. It's kind of hard to tell right now in daylight, but if I can't plug in my laptop and edit video, I'm gonna lose. Yeah, look at this. No water. Nothing. Because the power is still out here at the airport. No power in the airport. Look at this beautiful stromboli with some dipping sauce. Here's my breakfast. That's what I'm talking about. Power's back on, and I deserve this. The good news is that I got about four hours of editing done on the Home Run Derby video. The bad news, if you can see all this shit behind me, the upside down chairs, is that I waited too long to go get dinner and now everything is closed. Express Market, yay, that's closed. This bagel place, not that I wanna eat crappy Denver airport bagels, that's closed. This steak place, also closed. Boy, this is fun. Well, I heard that Ladies, there might clear. be a restaurant yeah. open in another terminal, so all I'm heading again. over there now on the tram. So, McDonald's is open. I really don't want to eat McDonald's. And there's just a little bit of a line. Fun fact, I've eaten exactly one bite of McDonald's food in my life and um, I've never tasted a McDonald's french fry in my life. And I intend to keep it that way. Oh my God, I don't believe it. Check this out, they just put the gates down. Someone's getting out behind me like three minutes ago. So whatever I wanna eat for the night, I gotta pick it out right now. Before I show you what I bought, I gotta introduce this guy who just tracked me down because he's been watching my Insta story. What's up? Where are you flying to? Back to, back to Georgia. There you go. Safe travels, man. Thanks. Here's what I'm eating, and in this order. Chicken salad wrap, sun chips, fig newtons, and a little 100 grand chocolate bar. What do you guys think? Did I make some good selections? Yeah, this is when everything starts to get weird, you guys. There is a Ben and Jerry's in this terminal, but it's closed, of course, which is a shame, so this'll have to do. Here's a little bit of good news. My first flight that I'll be taking to Nashville at 5.30 a.m. is on time. Best drink in the world right here, folks. Why bother with anything else?
Yep. Just blending some audio here at 2.46 in the morning in the Denver airport. Check this out. The video is nine minutes long at this point. There's an hour and 34 minutes total of footage. And I've pretty much edited to the end of batting practice. So, you know, making progress here in the airport. This place is coming alive at 4.13 in the morning. And by the way, in case you didn't notice, I don't get bored. I'm like the opposite of bored. There's too much that I wanna do, there's too much that I have to do. Yeah, it's annoying to be stuck here all night, but I'm fine. Now see, this just is not fair. Now that I actually want one of these shitty bagels, look at the line. Look at this. That is ridiculous. Screw that, I have a flight to catch. Couple of flights, every single seat is going to be occupied. It's all open seating here at Southwest. Just pick any open seat. I still have some open rows in the back. I hate layovers so much. And yeah, I did sleep on the plane for two hours. Uh, I have an extra face mask that I was hoping to change into, but that smells like cigarettes from my hotel room. Thanks a lot, Super 8. Can I have some water, please? Jesus. Come on, man, seriously? All right, got a small egg and cheese biscuit for $7 and a small strawberry yogurt granola thing for $6. Yay. guys you can hear the sirens you know I'm in New York City this is it thanks for joining me on this ridiculous 25 hour journey from Denver to New York City I survived much love Mwah.